Joseph. Mm. I'm really grateful for the chance. I have really given mm. for me to come through. Yes, how are you doing, man? I'm good, bro. How are you? I'm very fine. You traveled from Kumi. How is Kumi? Yeah, straight up. District 10 is okay. I'm seeing a branded help, uh, cave uh, 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 in the names of Heads Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heads Up is a new thing right now. It's a dope thing. It's a dope thing. Uh, of course, as far as I need to understand who you are, there are very many people who have been listening to you rap or have been listening to your music, but they don't know who Sparrow is. If you're, if you're given a chance, like you have it now, uh, to tell us who Sparrow is, who are you? Uh, Sparrow is a 23-year-old rapper from Kumi. A 23-year-old rapper. From Kumi. Very humble and very easy guy. A humble one and easy guy. Yeah, uh, tell yeah. us about your musical career. When did you begin music? Uh, I started music way back in 2017. Mm. When I recorded a single with King Featherman called My Brain. 2017, how old were you then? Um, I could do the math. Because mm. <laughs> right 20, now, 20? 2017. You were 20 years, isn't it? Or yeah. 21? Because my birthday is at, is at 10th October, so it's... Mm. Yeah. 2017 up to now has been the journey. Not easy. Not easy. Yeah, yeah. Make us understand what makes it a little difficult on your side. You know, I'm actually an artist that is doing music by myself. I don't have any kind of management, so I have to do things in a lot better. Is it by your own setting, or you, you, you just don't have people who are trying to push you, like, uh, I need to manage you, I need to promote you? You know, I want my music to move smoothly, so I need the right people to do promo for me. Mm. Like, if I need a management around, a management like right legit, not again, market working in a bay, just get a management, then again you switch, then it was not good. So I need to find someone in the right legitimate so I can move with. Well, I had Cindy seated on the same seat you are right now, and she said that she doesn't need management because uh, people who are managed uh, are, st are actually staged. Like, it is the manager to wake up there and say, we need to do this. I thought you also belong in that school of thought. I was thinking about it in the first place, but now that I was thinking about music or leverage here, mm. I would actually know, you know, because then your fans expect a lot. Because Kwan in the video is shining eye and they want your songs to like sell in the whole country and mm. as a one a single person you can't do that by yourself how vital is the management issue when it comes to uh, uh music it's important mm. yeah but when i started i thought i could do it by myself but now that the puerto manico said pick our music no i'm getting a big fan base mm. i need someone to help me with some things Okay. I need a whole crew. I, like I, 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 try, I follow you uh, most especially on Facebook. There's when you posted, I think somebody had uh, uh, listened to your song. I think it's from South Africa. I, I don't know, but uh, away from Uganda. How are you able to get these links? Or how are you able to at least push your music uh, overseas? It's crazy. It's, you know, you have to think beyond the box. You have to work hard and make sure that you get contacts outside the country. Mm. Yeah, I have some already, but it's not enough. I still need to go more. Rap music, hip hop, call it trap, uh, is not well celebrated in the country, or it, it, not just in the country, but also if, here locally. People do not really appreciate uh, 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 some works coming in from, uh, uh, of course, uh, 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 you people. W what is your thought on that? Um, it's not. Like, I don't see it as a bad thing. It's okay. Everyone can be what they want to be. Because mm. uh, I have some diehard fans. And on top of that, I'm not just focusing on country. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that my music goes outside the country. That is your focus? Yeah. Basically, you're not looking at the local local uh, market? I'm looking at the whole continent. The whole continent and even beyond? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. All right. As far as killing it is a song that uh, uh, people are much familiar with, and of course it is a song that some of us know uh, brought you to uh, uh, brought you this far. Uh, if you, When you produced Killing It, uh, uh, and the reception it got, did, did it uh, amaze you? Or was it a surprise to you? Wow, it was dope. Actually, like after I made the video, I'm going to make a video, Sultan. Mm. But I have something new. Mm. I need your help to push it. 
and it was like it's okay we took a pic we posted on facebook mm. and that very evening he premiered it on it became a massive thing thanks to Vijay Sultan. Okay, uh, I, 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 I want to uh, understand from you uh, listening to this song called Dreams Come True. Uh, do you think you're really living your dream or you're still chasing it? I'm a kind of person who wants something perfect, like I always chase perfection. I don't know if I can it. It's in my nature, just. Okay. So at first, I thought that. My dreams had come true, but now it's it's not enough. I'm still chasing more. Mm. Yeah. You have a couple of songs. Actually, Killing It was produced by uh, uh, King Featherman, but yeah. most of your songs lately, you produce it with the lads. W w why the switch? You know, I appreciate King Featherman's production. Mm. Like, it was really dope. It picked me up from zero. Like, the pricing was not that high. Mm. It was what I could afford by then, and... Now you can afford less. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm looking at the better part of production. Okay. Plus is really good. Mm. Yeah. I want you to comment on our production uh, locally here in Teso. Uh, how how is it? Talking about you, of course, that transformation. You started from Kumi with King Featherman. Then you decided to say you needed something far much better, and it's the reason as to why you uh, maybe searched for Lars. Yeah. Uh, can you comment on the production generally, and also basing on other genius? You have uh, friends. You're moving here with the Triple J. You have yeah, other yeah. friends who are doing music. Uh, in, in, even in their uh, uh, category of music that they do, how is the production? generally the production is not bad because i know some producers that are trying their best to get to a different level to take some music to a different level mm. yeah so it's i can't call it bad and it's what we can afford right now okay all right thank you so much so sparrow is in the house this one is called uh, we are rande uh, tell me about this one uh i was actually targeting promo from a vj mm. vj bashir yeah he promised so Something. the song you did it for him or there was another inspiration? I did it for him. Like it was sort of a lazy song. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Paro. And of course, when I return, I'll be giving you a chance to talk to Sparrow on Zero.